Today I thought I'd like to show you how to do some evergreen trees and um, mainly working on the trunk. The, the trunks are a lot of fun with shadows and highlights so this is an easy way to do it. Okay let's get started. What I'm going to be doing is using two shades of brown. I have a lighter brown and a darker brown. I have a filbert brush and I'm just mixing those a little bit on the same brush together. Just pick a point anywhere and just come down and press fairly hard. You want to make a fairly good sized trunk. Reload if you need to. I like that one. Bring it out at the base. And just fuzz it in a little bit. Next I'm dipping into just a little bit of thinner and I'm going to just wet both of these so they're, they're just like a liquid. They're almost like an ink. I want it very, very, very loose. Now most of the time these trees will have an upward limb. They're, they're happy trees, okay? So they come down a little bit and then they go up. And maybe on the other side. And notice the wiggle. I, I wiggle my brush a lot. It's almost like I'm nervous. But that's how the limbs are. Not, they're not really straight. Going up to the top, I would like that to have a little bit more of a nice top on it. There. Next I want to highlight this trunk and to do that I want to use a little bit of a cool color. Blue, white, just mix it. I want just a kind of a light blue color. That's a shadow, shadow color, the shadow side. And just get a little roll of paint. Come up. Oh, I smudged there. Oh well, that's alright. And just lightly touch the back side of the tree. Just little dabs, little dots. And then just sort of bring it up, make it sort of rounded by just tapping towards the center. Oh, it looks very cool already, doesn't it? <laughs> I like it. Now on the sunny side, I'm going to take a little bit of red and again some white. And we just want sort of a kind of a light pink color. Bring it out nice and flat. Perfect. Get a little roll and now we're just going to go on the other side of the tree. A little more paint. Again, sort of bring it to the middle so it's rounded. A 
kind of bring out your base and just sort of blend that in. Now you'd probably have grass down here or something, so that'll just fade into the background. Now to make some greenery on this tree, what I want to do is just take my dark colors. I'll take blue, black, both my browns, some green, and just sort of mix that up into a pile. Doesn't have to be mixed real well. Then I want to take my number three fan brush and bring it through, load both sides of the brush. Now because these are happy trees, the branches are in an upward motion. So you'd put your put brush in, lift, and cross over your trunk periodically. Load again. Load. You want to keep a lot of paint in your brush for this for this particular thing. Always lifting upward like so. Lift. You don't want down, you want up. Then I want to put some highlight on those trees. So I'm wiping out some of that green, then I'm going into yellow. And I just a tiniest little bit of thinner. And I mean really tiny. And then you go right back over the top of these. Once that's done, you can go back into a little bit of your browns, and, and it's very thinned out, remember, it's kind of like an ink. And you can just put in some extra little branches. very easy to do. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I enjoyed doing it for you. And um, just remember, just these trees are great. On, on the Oregon coast, they have a lot of trees. You know, the trunk just actually bends over and then the limbs go up. It's really unique and it's fun painting those. So anyway, grab those brushes, give it a try. Thank you for joining me today. Bye.